they're working, I think they're in the mission home. It's an office, I don't know if it's just in a church building or where it is, but it's been broken into now three times. Ooh, what? They just got broken into again today. That's insane. Why? I'm like, why are people, there? the church building has also been broken into. Yikes. Yeah, why? Wow. Okay. Well, but people want to know. All right, guys. I, I better silence this. this. Well, you know, it could be fun, too. <laughs> Phones. I guess what? I can bring them in on it. Ooh, you could, yeah. <laughs> say, say, hey. Hey. Yo, yo, and and here's a body because... And Hiram can share. Your name is Krista? Visible. Huh? I'm oh, sorry. My name's Krista? Yeah, I was like, your name is Krista? Yeah, oh, for like the last 38 years. <laughs> oh, right, do you not know her name? No, I knew her name. I'm being funny. Oh, I'm making jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, sense of humor. Right. Okay, pens and papers. So the first <laughs> exactly paper is funny. your PowerPoint presentation, so which is serious. perfect. Is perfect. We're at pens. We'll give you guys highlighters, and that will work as well. Okay. And Kira highlighter too. Kira, oh, have fun with oh, that. Yeah. Oh, here's another pen. She'll get it all over her hands. Oh, I need a highlighter for Grandpa. Okay, no. Hiram, will you get off the Kindle for the presentation, please? Yeah, I will. And you can just stand here. So. Yeah, but we don't need those yet. In fact, they're kind of supposed to be getting. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You're hiding okay. things. Secret. I'm hiding things, of course. <laughs> You're hiding things. Wow. That's right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the number is wrong. Here we has pens. Actually, here, do you want a pen? Oh, yeah. There's pens. Everybody's got a pen? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yucky. So, the first little Yucky. paper that you have that's clipped together is the PowerPoint presentation because we don't have anything TV wise. We're just making do with as is. So, and then after that, you'll see a model of change. That's going to be the first activity. And then you're going to see a third sheet, and that'll do the second activity. And then we have one more plan. <coughs> okay. So, welcome to Lifestyle Rescue, Preventing Prediabetes. So, I'm Chris Corbatelli, and today we're going to look at how we're going to change diabetes by rescuing our lifestyles. Okay, so a little about myself. That little first picture there, you can see my little black belt stuff. I'm really into martial arts. Uh, currently, I, I am in the Master's of Science in Applied Nutrition at the University of New England, and I will graduate by the end of this year. Uh, I got my bachelor's in animal science at BYU Idaho. I currently hold my own personal training business, and I'm an ERS, or A certified, sorry, personal trainer. Uh, let's see here. I have been in martial arts for 23 years. And I love it, and nutrition and physical activity has always been a one of my favorite things to do. So, now that we know it ourselves, and you know a little bit more about me, we're gonna move on, okay? So, the goals of the workshop, okay? Wait, I'll turn the page. Yes, turn the page. And you can unclip it if you need to, like this. So, like that, so now you can really look at that. Wait, what do we need these for? You'll use those later. Okay, but we're we're right here right now. Okay, we're going to talk about goal setting. Okay. Okay, so the goals of the workshop are going to be take an inventory of your current defaults, find three healthy defaults that you can use to make healthy switches, discuss the importance of healthy switches with your children, and this is going to help us be able to use these in our everyday lives and make them a part of our everyday choice so we can prevent pre-diabetes, okay? So on the next slide, you'll see the framework. Uh, it's gonna have six steps. And the first step is gonna be activity one we talked about. It's gonna be identifying where you're at in the stages of change. And we'll explain that once we get there. Uh, we're gonna introduce the transtheoretical, theor you know, radical, sorry, I can never say that one right, model of change, and answer a question. Activity two is going to be looking at our current habits, and then we're going to introduce healthy options and questions, more questions. There's going to be a lot of questions. This is the boring part. Um, activity three, we're going to be making healthy choices. And after that, we're going to learn how to make it permanent. And we'll have a little competition later, right, kind of right in the middle of all that. Okay? So off to the left is a really good picture. Uh, it says, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So we're going to make plans, and we're not going to wish. So, on to activity one. So, if you will flip to the page, unclip your uh, slideshow, your very low tech slideshow.
show. And look at this page right here. We're going to fill that sheet out. Okay? <laughs> This is the one you want. Well, this is that's the one you want. Yeah, right there. So, what we're going to do is answer the questions on those pages. This is going to assess where you're at. The first one's going to be looking at where you're at, your self efficacy. And then the second page is going to be looking at your readiness to change nutritionally. So, so are we just filling out the first yeah. page right now? And the second page. And the second page? Yep, just circle them real quick. It doesn't have to be super in depth. Just how you feel right off the bat. So. Do we highlight everything? If you want to. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Diet and your health, and what you believe you should be doing. 
Start with the number. So if you see that number and you say I E E L B and you feel like you really strongly agree with that statement, you're going to circle that number. I strongly disagree with Kira. And if you strongly disagree, <laughs> circle one down here. <laughs> Kira? No. She just double circled number five. I <laughs> <She> strongly <laughs> agree. <laughs> I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> I eat healthy. Well, we'll define healthy later. We make that up to Yeah, about the only thing that I'm not, I think I can't is overeat less. Only if you want to. That's more of just a thought provoking as you go through the next couple of stages. You know? I mean, you can, but there's not a ton of room at the end of that paper, so. She's like, yes or no. Okay. Is there another one? Nope, that's it. No one all. Oh, current habits help you back. Yep, we'll get to that eventually. Okay. So we good or we need another minute or so? Everybody's good? Okay. So now that we've got our readiness to change it down, and let's hear it. Let's go over why this is important. Click to your next slide. Go back to your slides. Do you want this paper back in the mouse trap? Yeah. Well, mouse trapping? Uh, this one. Page are we the second page of the second page of the slide. Page of the slide. So the slide show back. No, we're going to go to the introduction of the TTM, which is Trans Theoretical Model of Change. Uh -huh. Can't speak. <laughs> oh yeah. So if you look to the picture on the left, you're going to see a model of change. Okay, it's going to have five stages, which are contemplation, or sorry, contemplation, determination, action, and maintenance. Okay, so, or sorry, pre-contemplation, contemplation, determination, action, uh, relapse, we'll go over that, maintenance, and you enter and exit at any stage of the change. Okay, so those are the five major stages, and they help you determine your readiness to identify your habits and make the changes that will help you prevent your diabetes. Uh, these stages provide the framework which allows you to make choices. So, for this workshop, it's going to help us detect, determine the readiness, identify our habits, make the changes. Uh, this model is very flexible as we were talking about. So setbacks are expected, forward and backwards motion through the stages of change is expected. So you know one day you're going to be doing awesome, you're going to make all the right choices. The next day you're going to slip up a little bit, no big deal, as long as the key is to always keep it progressing forward towards your goals. So as long as you keep your goals in mind like we talked about and keep moving forward, you're going to be okay. We're going to make the changes and make it stick. Is 
I can't see it very well. I uh, only see two arms. Oh, there's three in there. Right. Oh, no, I see the To the top. Oh, no. To the top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the question. Do they look like nice arms? They do. They're very <laughs> nice arms. Is it the one with the most, uh, whatever that drink is in there? Uh, no, they're coffee. <laughs> Some sort of beverage. What's Why do you ice it? Oh, that's <laughs> ice. <laughs> I don't think the point is their meal. No, that was the point wrong. Yeah. There's one, two, three. So is there one guy who's holding two? Okay. So who does pre-diabetes affect? Seventy-six percent of Americans. I'm guessing. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, that is awesome. So, going back to the seventh leading cause of death, 
Okay, it's not very yellow. If I run, you don't need to tell the whole world that we're on video. Yeah, that's going on. That's oh, in out. Really? Remind me to share the story later. Okay, I'll, that's that's gonna be. I did cool. not know that we were recording. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that? I've been nope. recording for like ever. <laughs> and it's like, Quiet, you know. <laughs> oh no, I'm not We're gonna not be quiet. We're not selling our innermost secrets here, guys. Oh, well, I was kind of open to that, you know, that's why. <laughs> and then we'll I'm going to the secret yeah. presentation then. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to. And once you're done. Exercise and habits, too? Well, if you want to. You know, habits you that you do. Okay. And then once you feel comfortable with your list, I will tell you what to do next. And we're supposed to be healthy options soon? Not yet. Oh, okay. Yep, leave that right side of the bank. We'll do that later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, protein. Yep. 
to a degree, but not everything can have protein in it. So, what makes something healthy? Tio Sensei. Um, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to tell me to Yeah. I think variety or yeah. balance, I guess, is probably the thing I'm looking for. Something that helps to yeah. right. be well, slowing the food pyramid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. The more you shove a pillow on my face, the more I'm going to yell. I need to answer having the nutrients that you need. Because you know, maybe more deficient in certain nutrients, and maybe in others, so knowing like, what you need specifically. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. that can make you healthy, very much so. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Think of anything other than what I just said. So, yeah, basically nutrient dense foods. So, nutrient dense foods is where they have a lot of vitamins, a lot of mineral, a lot of protein, a lot of balance. And then, um, we have energy dense food, which is going to be high calorie, high typically saturated fats and salts and that kind of stuff, and but low nutrition. So candy bar, high energy, low nutrition. Apple, high nutrition, moderate energy. You know, not super low. So that's kind of where we're going with you know all of that. Okay. So at what? So let's go on to activities. You guys were all great with.